Last week, U.S. nat gas futures saw a sharp decline, influenced by both technical and fundamental factors. The market experienced significant sell-offs and profit-taking following an early week test of the 50-week moving average. The downturn was further intensified by cooler weather forecasts and a major bankruptcy filing. Weather forecasts predicted cooler conditions in the eastern U.S., leading to reduced demand expectations. Meanwhile, the southern U.S. experienced a heat wave, with Texas power usage poised to set a new May record due to heightened air conditioning demand. In the longer term, analysts forecasted an intense Atlantic hurricane season, which could significantly impact energy demand and supply trends. Meanwhile, the U.S. nat gas rig count, an early indicator of future output, dropped below 100 for the first time since October 2021. Driven by declines in the Appalachian Basin, the gas rig count dropped by four units to finish at 99 for the week ended Friday, May 24. According to the latest drilling productivity report, gas production is expected to continue to decline, dropping to 99.2 billion cubic feet per day in June from the current 99.5 billion. It seems paradoxical that producers might break even with negative prices, but in some markets, they can because they produce oil and natural gas liquids along with the natural gas. In some basins, such as the Permian and Eagle Ford in Texas, natural gas is produced as a byproduct of oil. Now, let's take a look at the three largest gas basins in the U.S. We can see that only the Permian Basin is still able to increase gas production, while Haynesville and Appalachia continue to decrease gas production due to their near-zero oil production. What does this mean for gas prices in the near future? Essentially, if oil prices continue to decline, we will see gas production in the Permian region decrease, and production in the Haynesville and Appalachia regions will continue to decline as long as gas prices remain below the $3 threshold. Overall, this situation might echo the pattern seen in 2012, where prices experienced a temporary decline in the second half of May, followed by a gradual increase by the end of the year to $3.90. Technically, the market was in overbought territory, leading to a correction. In the worst case, similar to the 2012 pattern, the prices may go down to the 25-week moving average support near $2.30 and this will attract a lot of new gas buyers. However, the primary trend is upward, and I anticipate prices will consolidate around $2.50 for a period before climbing significantly higher by the end of the summer, reaching approximately $3 by August and potentially $4 by November. Thank you for watching. Please like and comment to support the channel. See you in the next one.